Hi, this is Catherine. So for my project, I've decided to play Civ V multiplayer as kind of a servant nation. To explain a little further, Civ V is a turn-based strategy game where each player plays as a nation like China, America, England, and the goal is to develop your own civilization into the most powerful one. So Civ is a pretty complicated game, but that's basically all you need to know with regards to the main objective of the game. However, instead of trying to develop my own nation into the strongest, I'm going to arbitrarily choose an opponent player in the game and devote the, all of my resources towards them instead with the intention of helping them to win instead of me. So that means all of my money, all of my strategic resources, luxury resources are all going to be gifted directly to the other player. I think it will be fairly interesting from not only a game standpoint, but also a human standpoint, because I'm wondering how the player I'm helping will react once they find out I'm giving them all of my resources. So to start off with, I'm playing as Gandhi of India because I figure his special bonus of more happiness with more population will come in handy since I'll be giving away my luxury resources. So at about five turns in, I discover England, so I choose him to be the player that I send all of my resources to. It is a little awkward when I think about it because I realize I'm India, he's England, and those two countries also have kind of a historical colonization rela relationship with each other. But I just shove those thoughts for now and I start sending him money. So I keep sending him money and gems until turn 25 when he makes contact with me and he says, you're a kind neighbor. And this continues on until turn 25, uh, sorry, turn 45, when he wants me to swear allegiance to him in the all chat as a test of goodwill. He seems to have some kind of like hip hop naming convention going on with the way he's naming his cities. Uh, just scrolling across the map here, you can see uh, Travis Scott, Young Thugga, Savage. So with that in mind, I also offer to change the name of my capital as a show of solidarity. So here in the L chat, I swear my allegiance to Young Thugga, capital of England. Uh, for some reason, there's also some guy that is obsessed with talking about penises, but it's the internet, so no surprises there, I guess. England has me prove my allegiance again in the chat by telling the other players who the best nation is. And we end up declaring war on Rome and taking most of Rome's cities. And meanwhile, I'm giving him all of my horses and my iron and money to fund his war efforts so that he can make more soldiers. So players start dropping out around turn 84. And at this point, we've been playing for over an hour and a half. And people are like, okay, I gotta go eat dinner or I have to be somewhere, see you later. And then suddenly H2O says he has something to confess to me. I am freaking out. He says that he loves me and that I am more loyal than most of his friends. Then he tells me to accept his offer and I check my proposal window and find out that he's giving me every single one of his cities, which in Civ 5, if you do that, you are basically giving them everything you have been working towards in the whole game. Your cities are primarily how you win the game because you need them in order to produce, you know, things like money and produce units and buildings. So I accept his offer and once he's given me all of his cities, he pieces out and disconnects from the game. So in summary, it was a pretty interesting experience. I think that while players certainly aren't rude to each other when playing Civ, it's still primarily a competitive strategy game. And usually people are declaring war on each other and trying to gain advantages over the other players. So I think that acting as a servant nation to another player and helping them to win was probably a nice or an interesting change of pace for him. And he appreciated it enough to want to give me all of his stuff before he quit the game. So I just hope that just like I'll remember the experience through this documentation, that he will also remember the experience as being a unique one that he's never had while playing Civ.